90. I hope I can keep going like B.B. King or Tony Bennett or my dad or all those, all my heroes lasted for a really long time if they were blessed with good health. Bonnie Raitt has long been admired for her musical talent, from her soulful voice to her skill as a blues guitarist. But behind the spotlight, her personal life, especially her marriage to actor Michael O'Keefe, remained more private. After 25 years of silence, Bonnie has finally shared the true reason behind their divorce. Today, we're taking a closer look into the highs and lows of Bonnie's personal and professional life. Bonnie Raitt and Michael O'Keefe Bonnie and Michael met in the late 80s, during a period when both were making waves in their respective fields. Raitt was experiencing a career resurgence after years of battling personal demons, while O'Keefe had made a name for himself as an actor, particularly through his role in The Great Santini and the hit comedy Caddyshack. Their relationship quickly became a subject of public interest, especially as they came from such different worlds. The couple married in 1991, during a time when Bonnie Bonnie's career was skyrocketing. Just a year before, she had won four Grammys, including Album of the Year, for Nick of Time, a career-defining moment that cemented her status as one of the most respected voices in American music. The pair seemed to balance each other well, with O'Keefe supporting Rate through her touring schedule and demanding career. In interviews, Bonnie often praised her husband for his understanding nature. Quote, We have a mutual respect, she said in a 1992 interview. We come from different worlds, but we found a way to make it work. For a time, it seemed like their relationship was the grounding force in Bonnie's otherwise hectic life. But as the years passed, the strains of balancing two public-facing careers began to take their toll. Rate's intense touring schedule, coupled with O'Keefe's acting commitments, meant they often spent long periods apart. This physical distance, paired with the emotional strain of their respective careers, placed increasing pressure on their marriage. Even as they appeared side-by-side side at a award shows and public events, the cracks were beginning to form beneath the surface. The Reason for the Divorce After eight years of marriage, Bonnie Raitt and Michael O'Keefe quietly divorced in 1999. At the time, the couple kept the details of their separation private, and speculation about the reasons behind the split ran wild. It wasn't until years later that Bonnie began to open up about what had truly led to the breakdown of her marriage. In a candid interview, she reflected, quote, It just didn't work out, and it was really heartbreaking. We were both incredibly busy, and that kind of schedule can be hard on any relationship. Rate's words reflected the deep emotional toll that her constant touring and O'Keefe's acting commitments had on their relationship. The separation wasn't rooted in any dramatic event, but rather was the culmination of years of growing apart. Bonnie hinted that, despite their best efforts, they struggled to maintain the intimacy and connection that had defined the early years of their relationship. Quote, We still care about each other, she later said, but sometimes life takes you in different directions. The pressures of fame, along with their competing careers, made it difficult for them to keep their marriage afloat. This honest revelation offered fans a glimpse into the vulnerability and challenges Bonnie faced away from the public eye. Bonnie's commitment to her music, which often kept her on the road for months at a time, became an insurmountable obstacle. As she poured her energy into her career, the distance between her and O'Keefe only grew. Although they tried to make it work, the demands of their professional lives eventually proved too much. Despite the end of the marriage, Bonnie has spoken fondly of their time together and has expressed no regrets, viewing the experience as a meaningful chapter in her life. Other Relationships and Marriages Throughout her life, Bonnie has been relatively private about her personal relationships. While her union with Michael O'Keefe remains the most publicized, she's often kept other romances out of the limelight, focusing on her music and activism instead. After her divorce, Rate admitted to valuing her independence and the space that being single gave her to focus on her personal growth. In an interview, she stated, quote, I'm at peace with my solitude. I've learned to love my own company, and that's been really important for me. Her words reflect a woman who has found strength in being alone, using that time to heal and reflect. Though there have been rumors over the years about various relationships, Bonnie has never remarried. Instead, she's dedicated herself to her music, environmental causes, and philanthropy, leaving little room for another long-term commitment. She once mentioned that the love and support she received from friends, family, and fans filled the void left by romantic relationships. Quote, I've been so lucky to have the kind of friends who are like family, she said in an interview. You don't have to be in a romantic relationship to feel loved or fulfilled. 
You know, they were not thrilled at my lifestyle, hanging out with 65-year-old blues guys that drank a lot. They had a little glitch about was my lifestyle. As my 20s went on, they went, you know, I think you need it. One of the most significant personal battles Bonnie Raitt has faced is her struggle with alcohol and substance abuse. By the 80s, her career hit a lull, and she found herself turning to alcohol as a way to cope with the pressures of fame and the demands of the music industry. Reflecting on that period, she once said, I was on a destructive path. I didn't think I had a problem because everyone around me was doing the same thing, but I was heading in the wrong direction. The addiction began to take a toll not only on her music career, but also on her personal life, including her relationships. Bonnie Bonnie's turning point came in 1987 when she decided to enter rehab and get sober. The decision to face her addiction head-on was not easy, but it marked a pivotal moment in her life. It was the best thing I ever did, she later said. Getting sober gave me clarity and I was able to focus on what really mattered, my health, my music, and my relationships. Her sobriety came just before she met Michael O'Keefe and the timing seemed like a fresh start for her, both personally and professionally. While her sobriety was a triumph, it didn't mean her struggles were over. Maintaining a healthy balance in her life became a lifelong commitment, and she's often spoken about the importance of staying grounded and prioritizing self-care. Sobriety is a daily practice, she said. It's not something you achieve once and forget about it. It's part of who I am now. Her battle with addiction not only reshaped her personal life, but also became a source of inspiration in her music. The themes of struggle, recovery, and resilience are woven throughout her work, especially in albums like Nick of Time. My folks loved the music part of it, were very delighted and proud of me. Career Highlights Bonnie Raitt's career has spanned decades filled with critical acclaim and commercial success. She began her musical journey in the 70s, blending her love for blues, rock, and folk into a distinctive style that set her apart. But it wasn't until the late 80s when she released Nick of Time that her career truly exploded. Winning four Grammys in 1990, including Album of the Year, marked a turning point. As she later reflected, quote, it was like winning the lottery at a time when I really needed it. But as with many artists, the pressures of sudden success were difficult to manage. While she was on the rise professionally, her personal life often took a back seat. The intensive demands of constant touring, recording, and performing left little time for maintaining relationships. As she once admitted, I've always been married to my music first, and that didn't leave a lot of room for a traditional personal life. But despite the difficulties, Rate has never expressed regret about her dedication to her music. Instead, she's embraced the complexity of balancing a high-profile career with personal happiness. Music has been my savior in so many ways, she once shared. It helped me get through the tough times, but it also became the thing I leaned on, sometimes at the expense of other parts of my life. Her ability to channel personal experiences, like her heartaches, struggles, and recoveries, into her music has been one of her defining traits as an artist. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite Bonnie Raitt song? Let us know in the comments section below.